Europe has been a leader here. Um, I've been doing now for a couple of years some pro bono work for the Open Society Institute, um, roaming around Latin America, um, meeting ministers of the economy and the like, um, and giving speeches and doing a bunch of things down in Ecuador and Peru and all around South America. And I have talked to a lot of the people who are involved in these things in those countries, and Europe is regarded as a leader, and EIF-1 is known, and it has an influence. And I would suggest that open standards procurement of IT products is something which has not only monetary financial implications, but very significant social implications as well in terms of enabling citizen access to their governments and democratic processes. And those things are in some ways even more important in poorer countries than in richer countries. And in terms of a development aid, a, a, a agenda, and frankly, I would suggest, and I don't think this is going too far, as a moral obligation, I think Europe has an obligation to lead the world with respect to openness and open standards public procurement policies. And it has been doing that. I think there's some risk that it won't. And I definitely hope that it will continue to lead the world in that regard. Thank you very much. So Thomas, as, as uh, Michael here uh, sets up for the next speech, uh, you talked a lot about uh, practice and how practice should change. Uh, what is the prospect for any of this actually happening in, in Europe? So this migration towards a open standards based procurement in practice, when do you see this happening? I, su I suggested quite a number of things and you probably won't be surprised for me to, to hear that some of them are more likely to happen in the relatively near future and others will take longer and some might never happen. I think that if people in this room and beyond are vigilant about um, identifying illegal practices, practices that are illegal today against the existing legislation, things like with that which happened with respect to microprocessors, that could change in the relatively near future. So I give you just that one example. Thanks.